Hey guys. Welcome back. You're having a good weekend. Lily. Sage, Thomas Lav, Lord, Night Scale. How's it going, Lord? Hi, hi. Back to some Zomboid. Audio seems very quiet. Turn that up a little bit. Hard at work. Oh, what are you working on? Hey, Simone. Uh, move went well. Uh, the new old home is is just about done. We still have uh, there's still some boxes I, I, uh, to find places for, but um, overall it's pretty good. We bought a, a bunch of uh, big plastic containers for the move uh, back in October. I just gotta find a, a spot to put all those empty ones now. They're all stacked up, but I'm not sure where we're going to keep them. But yeah, it's slowly feeling like uh, the old home again. Secrets, secrets that I shall share. <laughs> uh, if I celebrating 420, I'm just celebrating it by being here with you guys. I don't partake in the herbs anymore. But for those who do. Happy 420. <laughs> <laughs> JJ, how's it going? Come on in. The Joker has arrived. Shall smoke a bowl for me? I am honored. Yeah, I am. Um, I put down the greenery, um, ironically, just before they legalized it in Canada. <laughs> Appreciate all the hydrates too. I'll drink water instead. Hmm. Uh, SDFR SWAT update. The secret has been shared. Ooh. That's going to be interesting. Looking forward to that. All right. We're going to check out the uh, Pineville map mod. So I don't think uh, I, I subscribed to it this morning, so... I would assume that means that I have not played it before. I'm guessing it's a new one. Pineville is a small town in Knox County. The history of the settlement began as a simple village, but thanks to the new mayor, the city center was soon renewed, and city houses quickly replaced the private sector, displacing it on the outskirts. An important landmark of the city is the St. Lyons Hospital. It used to be a small clinic, but a new block was recently built Yes, the top floor. Uh, yeah, yes, the top floor has not been completed, but the hospital can already treat not only residents of Pineville but also visitors to the city because of the settlement. While walking along the streets of our beautiful developing town, we strongly recommend visiting the legendary butcher shop, one of the oldest families in our town, which keeps the secret of cooking meats in the strictest secrecy. More secrets today. You definitely won't see anything like this anywhere else in Knox County. But if your vehicle suddenly breaks down, you can always count on help from Lemmy's Car Repair. But if the hustle and bustle of the town isn't your thing, you can always check out our farms east of town. And whilst there, don't forget to visit the local food market. Pineville is a town looking towards the future. Oh, Pineville sounds like a town with a little bit of lore. Uh, have I watched the Fallout show on Prime? Thoughts? Uh, we started watching it. We have two episodes left. Uh, we didn't quite finish it before Slender had to leave on her work uh, training trip. So we're going to be finishing the uh, the series off when she gets back uh, after next week. But I liked it. I really like it so far. I was quite happy with the, the episodes that we did get to watch. Uh, Pulis219, welcome on in. The last couple of days I have been playing some Infection Free Zone in Louisville. A good crossover episode. Infection Free Zone in Louisville. Very interesting. So is the whole city infection free? 
All right, let's check this out. We're going with our standard settings for the most part. Uh, we'll just uh, double check to see if anything needs to be tweaked. I've kind of settled into, you know, my preferred grouping of settings over the years. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have the auto loot on. We'll keep that off. That's a hanger on from chat duration. Keep the uh, expanded helicopters on. It's concussion for sure. Oh, Rick has uh, some new stuff in his concussion mod, doesn't he? Uh, with car crashes, which should be interesting. Yes, here we go. Car crash concussion effects. Car crash con concussion threshold. Probability. What should our probability of getting a concussion in a car crash? Now, taking into account my driving skill. Uh, do I know that one police motorcycle mod? I, I'm not familiar. Night scale. 99% Zika. Sexy Vanda, welcome on. Hello there. Oh, you got PZ recently. So addicted? Hell yeah. Another cult member. <laughs> Juan, how's it going, man? Luz, welcome on in. Big unit bezer. How's it going, sir? One of us. One of us. One of us. All right, so we got one forty. Zika said ninety nine, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bump it up a little bit. I'm gonna be perma concussed. Let's go. We'll go forty five. A little bit higher than standard, and half of what Zika wanted. Okay. Um. We have the accidental discharge on. So apparently if you are, at least my understanding is if you're, if you have a gun equipped while you're driving and you crash, you can shoot yourself in the car. So that's fun. What more could you ask for? What more could you ask for? Uh, undercover of darkness, yeah. Proximity, inventory. Zombie only mode. Trip and fall. I'm going to turn this down even more than it already is. Uh, walking. Half a percent chance. Running. 10%. Sprinting. Yeah, sprinting should be dangerous. 25%. All right. Is crafting as trajectory only one standard. Ah yes, Rick's pay at the pump. We weren't actually able to try this one out last time we played, but I think he's uh, released a couple patches since then. Uh, I should be able to guess why you mentioned it. The SWAT, eighty Kawasaki something features and chips. Uh, or the motorcycle mod. Are you? Uh, will there be? Will there be motorcycle <laughs> mods for for Greenboard? Groin shots are back on the menu, Zika. Sixty nine percent one. All right. Uh, the motorcycle. Okay. Uh, so pay the pump price per liter twenty six cents. Diesel twenty eight cents. What's what's LPG? Petrol, diesel. What's LPG? Oh, you can buy propane too. That's cool. Uh, blackout mod. Storms increase chance of blackout. That's cool. 
I'll leave that standard. Uh, I'm trying out this comfy sleeping mod too. So, I think like sleeping in your clothes makes it a less comfortable sleep. Yeah, having a pillow increases comfort. Blood dirtiness, I was, would assume, decreases comfort. Yeah. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, and this, um, did you, have you guys seen this moat mod? I think this is, was this one of uh, Chernobyl's? Chernobyl's? Uh, oh, Zika. <laughs> Hold on. Zika, Zika's message got auto-modded. How about a Neanderthal run? Apparently a Neanderthal is uh, derogatory for Twitch. Uh, you take the most direct route, need to go outside, uh, jump out the window no matter what floor you're on. Need to go to the next room, use a sledge to break down the wall. Oh, we also have uh, Rick's uh, body slam mod so we can just run through doors. LPG is propane for cars, to put it simply. Liquid petroleum gas. Okay. Basically adding SDFR support to more cycling. Nice. Yeah, so I got this moat mod and this plumbing mod. That maybe we'll get around to trying out. Uh, random zombies, yes. Okay. So I just want a, a smattering of, of sprinters. Maybe just like 0.5%. Uh, so that would be, what, 82.5, 83, 9,800, is that 100? Uh, smart zombies, 20%. Tough zombies will do 20%. Uh, fragile to go 5%, normal, 95%. Yeah, cool. Let's save this as our pine bill run. Carbon? Figured Automon thought uh, I was calling you <laughs> speak not so smarter. Alright. Pineville. One would think that maybe a lumberjack would live in Pineville. Let's go lumberjack. Oh, look at all these uh, sledgehammers we can hand out. Everybody ready to park? So many big gamers. Look at all these sledgehammers falling down. triple before all right let's go lumberjack um feels like it's been so long since i built a character hmm fast learner a cruel, fast learner, lumberjack, who is, uh, what is he? Nah, uh, a lumberjack would not have thin skin. Lumberjack would be possibly hard of hearing. Oh, it's going to be a smoker, <laughs> for sure. An allergic lumberjack? Sneezes involuntary from time to time. May attract zombies. Excessive sweating. Uh, sweaty lumberjack. Uh, waiting for the big update to get back into PZ. Can't wait. Yeah, I'm 
very much looking forward to 42. Oh, and I missed one. There was a quad. Damn it. There's one left over. Here we go. <laughs> Thanks, Carbon. What's this one again? Fear of the Dark. It's panic without light sources. Being in the dark for a long period also increases stress. Uh, let's do that one. I don't think lumberjacks typically chop trees at night. So maybe he's afraid of the dark. We got nine to go. We can always counteract our fear of the dark by smoking. Blood makes zombies bloodthirsty. You make sprinters start out at full speed. If we're bleeding, they're full speed. If we're not, they're still accelerating zombies. Slack. Moons bleed more. 100% damage from bleeding. Experience pain in the legs when walking, running, sprinting, doing fitness, and stomping. While sprinting, the pain and endurance consumption is much higher. Yeah, I'm gonna take thin skin too. Three to go. Uh, high thirst, good enough. Okay. Hand torch. Start with a hand torch. Iron get light footed mushroom mushroom picker. Let's do mushroom picker. Insects. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I need a lumberjack. Oh no, sexy panda just died. <laughs> Those bots are uh, showing up in force again, Thomas Lev. What's going on? All right, anybody want to choose a um, a character name? Or lumberjack? I mean, Greenwood is pretty good for a last name, I think, for a Lumberjack. So let's keep Greenwood. We need a first name that starts with L. Our bomb threw out an L. Larry Greenwood, Leonard, Lance, Lloyd, Liam, Liam Greenwood. Here we go. All right, here's our guy. Let's check out Pinewood. Or Pine, Pineville. Greenwood in Pineville. Oh, and we got some errors. I'm gonna check what those are. Uh, console text. What's giving us the error? I think we all I think we'll be okay. Too bad I wasn't a C. Cutter Greenwood. The perfect. Would have been the perfect name. Hey Ivan. A uh, new map. Yeah, let's um I just subscribed to it this morning. Let me look up Pineville. I think it was released in March. 
posted March 14th. So just over a month old. Oh, these errors keep popping. Hold on, we should take care of this. Username, welcome on in. Trying to resub with Basil Bucks. Is that no longer a thing? My account is linked. Oh, you should be able to. Although Twitch can be Twitch can be glitchy sometimes. Good to see you though. Weapon modifier inventory. Weapon modifier framework. Weapon modifier line about a tongue twister. Weapon okay, weapon modifiers are messing up. Okay, I'm gonna have to take that one out. Gonna drop that mod. Our weapon mod weapon modifiers. Name modifiers. It's just one or two errors popping up every once in a while. I don't mind, but if it's gonna be a consistent error every few seconds, I might as well fix that. So what's everyone up to this weekend? I just got back from my final pottery class this morning. We just finished up our second round of an eight week class. So I did glazing on uh, the rest of my bowls. I had um, eight bowls today. And then three from last week. So 11 bowls total this set of classes. And they, uh, for the most part, they all turned out pretty well. I've got like two good sized ones. I'll actually be able to uh, have proper food, proper meals out of majority are still on the smaller side. Logging in, about to start work. And how long is the work day today? You got a full day? It's taking a long time to go back to the main menu. This is doing its thing. I'm gonna go fill up water and uh, we will continue on once we get back to the main menu.
Okay, hold on. Just cleaning up some files in the background. It was in a crash loop. This again, so I gotta take off the weapon modifiers. Uh, so, Nomus Pottery merch store in the making. I actually thought about it. Um, is that something that people would be interested in? Some handcrafted uh, pottery pieces with like um, uh, Nomus, Nomus plays logos or Nomus plays lore. I actually thought about trying to recreate the um, the wooden bowls. From Project Zomboid. Do you like the wooden bowls uh, look and um, like that kind of turquoisey green uh, mug? Alright, let's try this again. Save this one. Let's find it good. All right. So what was our name again? Liam Green Greenwood. And what did he have for? Kind of looked. Kind of looked good. Let's roll with that. Uh, different color hair though. Where's our hair color? All right, leave with that. William Greenwood, he will find you. Haven't heard of this map. Uh, do you know what sort of vibe it's going for? It looks like a small town. It came out about a month ago. In what way does Twitch try to use motion sensors? I don't know. Is there supposed to be some sort of motion sensor tie-in? Yeah, we're still getting an error. Salic darling, welcome on in. Evening, morning, afternoon. I would love a large coffee mug with a tree equals magnet. <laughs> okay. So mugs are the um, the next thing I need to try and make. I'm pretty good at making bowls now. But uh, like I've, you end up making a lot of pieces. So I was thinking of people who are interested some sort of inaugural Nomus Plays merch. Some some handmade items. Okay, no errors this time. Well, let's go. Okay, 
an onion. Let's put this down here. Alright, cool. I got an alert on Brave Browser that it's blocking motion sense sensors Twitch is trying to use. What the hell? That's weird. Tweezers, first thing. And a sewing needle. Well, damn. Um, here, let's just take that. Welcome to the future with AI Twitch motion trackers so you can never stop playing Zomboid. <laughs> I'll hail the indie stone. Has a mighty fine bald spot. What do we got in here? Let's make these a bit smaller. Uh oh. Zika. <laughs> Don't kill me. <laughs> That's supposed to be turned off. <laughs> Hold on. This is the integration free zone. Turn that off. <laughs> All right, where are that? You guys are gonna kill me before we get started. Let's move this stuff over. Hey, Brotano. Come on in. Yeah, so I would like to see if I could recreate that bowl as a clay bowl with like a brown outside and a, and a white inside. I think that'd be kind of cool. Let's just go outside. Yeah. And if we find that green mug, we do that one as well. Always thought the bowls in Zomboid look like coconuts. I can never unsee it now. Yeah, I definitely um, think back to uh, Holy Grail coconuts as well. Come, Patsy. our food for the day. I find all the medical supplies. Still need a bottle. I wonder if we'll find a backpack in here too. And I wonder how tall this apartment building will be. Buildings are like the OP spawn. You spend like a whole first day looting. You come out as a prepared survivor. We're afraid of the dark. Okay, well, no backpack. Not quite OP. Hey, 
there, Ricardo. Hello, hello. Yes, a new map. Uh, a month old pine bill. There we go. Water bottle. Came out March 14th, the uh, workshop says. And location wise, this is in between. Uh, actually, it would be in between Greenport and West Point. Is there a door there? No. Is there no front door? Just the back door? Kind of looks like that. Um... Oh no. <laughs> All the cars don't have wheels. Except for the, uh, the UPS van. Okay, hold on. I think I know which mod that is. We're getting all the bugs at first. I kept running into this um, this bug when I was setting up the uh, Extraction Hunter series. All those zombies ate the tires. Yeah, for some reason, the uh, Moodle Framework mod, I think disabling that fixes it. See if it's going to go into a crash loop again. Uh, it is, yeah. Okay, hold on. I gotta close that out. I'm like these where I can't wait for build for you two to come out. So there's all this new content and I can, I can get away with playing vanilla Zomboid for a while without worrying about mods. It's got reloaded here. I'm gonna watch on YouTube. Hit the Twitch ads. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. So oh, now Zombo is just crashing. get there. All right, I've read so much Thurzoid at this point, it's all blurred together. The, uh, the last Thurzoid was pretty cool.
pretty cool stuff. Uh, the RP one, like with the, uh, you mean like all the different armor variations? Like the makeshift armor stuff? Looks like there's a various, uh, there's various sensors you can have on the computer and having access to them is another way to track you. Of course, right? Any chance they get. Yeah, the makeshift armor looks pretty, pretty damn cool. can mix and match stuff one leg this type of armor this other leg another type of armor all right take that one off oh yes and the fence is being broken down by hordes Nowhere shall be safe. Never thought I'd see the day uh, that stuff like that would be in Zomboid. That's interesting because those um, those tile assets for like the the big fences breaking down over time. Those have been in the um, the map making tools, and you never really see them in the middle of the map. And now they're getting to use them, so that would make one think that they had that plan for a, a while. That's something they wanted to do or be able to do. Sorry, guys. We gotta keep. Keep doing this until we get a, a stable session. Uh, I think I was doing this one. Oh, no, we did a we had a pine belt one. Sorry. There. I should really just save our character. Um, uh, what was the name again? Green, green something. Who remembers the name? Liam. Green something. Greenwood. All right, I'm gonna save it this time. In case we need to do it one more time. No errors popped up this time. I'm going to look out the window first thing. Make sure that the cars have wheels. Still think back to when I first played the game. It was so bare bones compared to what we have now. So bare bones. It's strange going back and watching old content. Pre-build 41. Everything looks so floaty. Everything's a lot, animation wise, everything's a lot more grounded now. Especially the old Bob and Kate intro, it just looks like a totally different game. Oh, yeah, like the, the early, early stuff. Uh, oh, random zombies has encountered an error falling back to default config. Please check your configuration. Error message fragile, normal, tough, and tough do not add up to 100. God damn it. 
<laughs> God damn it, chat. No one's can't math. It's nice that it actually tells you, though. Forgot. I always forget to carry the seven Zika. What do the numbers mean? All right. While this is doing this, I'm going to take a picture of my, my new bowls that I made. I'm going to post them on the Discord for those who are interested. There's a couple pictures in the uh, Great Vibes channel of the Discord if you guys are interested in what Slender and I have been working on the last several weeks. Alright, bye Bill. So my addition was off, eh? One job. Uh, random zombies. Random zombies. Okay, the tough, fragile. Oh, health, health, health. Okay, yeah, that doesn't equal one hundred percent. Okay, so let's go normal seventy five percent. Tough ninety five. Fragile, 100. There we go. Speed. Let's add that. I don't know. Uh, 0. 0.5, 82.5, 15, 200. Okay. Health, brains, that's fine. That's just one. Uh, why did I type the above message? Because that made me wonder if PZ was named after Con Plan 8888. You know, I was looking at the plan the US military has in the case of a zombie apocalypse. Con Plan 8888. There's several types of zombies listed. The first is a PZ, which is a pathogenic zombie, uh, a zombie caused by a contagion of some sort. Oh. Interesting. I wonder if PZ was named after that. That'd be interesting. All right, no more errors. All right, looks good. Can we see cars? There are cars, there's cars, and there's tires. All is right with the world. And we have a sweater vest. And we have a shotgun. And we're gonna die. Party time.
And I have a pencil. The day just keeps getting better. <laughs> we got milk, pencil, shotgun, shells. Can't get better. And some chips. You Tetris mod, I hate that mod. Uh, so we only have the uh, equipment UI. I don't have the Tetris mod for this one. Hey Kiwi, long time no see indeed. How are you doing, man? How is life? Oh, and a school bag. Even better spawn this time. Vitamins, vitamins. Take our cans that don't need a can opener. Oh, but there's a can opener there. Backup frying pan. For some reason, the Tetris mod gives me ten times the dopamine for looting the same items as Vanilla. <laughs> I mean, if you're into inventory management, the Tetris mod can scratch an itch for you. Ooh, and a fanny pack. Who puts pants in a fanny pack? Where can I rip that? Uh, the main thing is so much extra time it adds uh, for starting inventory, which is already very tedious. It does add a lot of extra time. That is for sure. Mishi, welcome on in. What is the name of the mod which is below the map icon showed day and killed zombies? Uh, like th down here? Oh, or here? Either or. It's uh, Twitch Stats, is what it's called. Twitch Stats. And you don't, you don't need to be streaming to use it. He just initially made it for for streaming. It works just fine. Playing on your own. Hey Aiden Share, welcome on in. What happened to Extraction Hunter? It was so good. It's still still underway. I just um, have not finished editing the next episode. The first three weeks, I literally spent like every day from like the end of work until uh, like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night editing to get the episodes out like one a week. Um, but I was, by the, the fourth episode, I was starting to feel a little bit burnt out on editing. It works out to about an, an hour of editing for every minute of the episode. So I've just taken a little break, and we had the move and some other stuff as well. But it will be back. I'm about a third of the way edited. 
uh, episode four. Swap over this duffel bag. I'm, I'm glad you liked it though. You liked the episodes. to this to put this away so we picked up a key is it for this guy or is it for this one cobalt not this one that's just grime. Do you enjoy it? Welcome on in. You know what I hate about superhero shows? It's when the criminals keep shooting a guy that is bulletproof and he still insists on shooting him. Even when he's beating them one by one. They're just hoping they hit that one sweet spot. Oh, we have multi on. Intended. Uh, M9. Where are these? Oh, these settings are a little high. So I can't say to watch. It's getting late here in, in British land. Take it easy. It's good hanging out for a little bit. Sorry we had some uh, troubleshooting to do before things got really underway. Depending on how today goes, we might continue Zomboy tomorrow. Or we might go back to Manor Lords. Okay, let's check this copper up here. We gotta be downtown. Some fruits. Uh, like me personally, if I shoot a man more than two times and he isn't even scratched, I'm running. I'm getting the hell out of there. Alright, so we got the key for this one. It's a little beat up. But it does have gas. That might... It kind of looks like a police station there, but... Maybe not. Let's see what these doors are. Or are they apartments? They might be apartments. They are apartments. In case anyone was wondering, all the types of zombies in Complan 8888, they are pathogenic, radiation, evil magic, space zombies, weaponized zombies, symbiont inducing zombies, vegetarian zombies and chicken zombies. I think someone shared that um, a video on that. 
in the Discord. So I, I seem to recall those categories as well. The vegetarian zombies. I didn't log the most obvious zombie at all of all the Rob zombie missed opportunity go eat some grass you stupid zombie Grazing dead. It's closer. What that building is. zombies actually exist though and happen when they aren't euthanized with CO2 correctly and get up out of the pile and walk around a bit until they die of organ failure. That's a little unsettling. Yeah, starting a, an unmodded PZ run will be a, a very nice feeling. I agree, Zika. Sounds awful the night skill though. To get some water. Ah oh, yes, this is the uh, the other mug. Would make with the clay that in the bowl. Small town first responders, Sage STFR. Yes, we're, we're actually driving an STFR vehicle as well as our devil bag is STFR. Poor, poor car. This is the hospital. Okay. That's a big hospital. Big hospital for a small town. That's an alarm. Oh, 
Oh, that engine is looking a little rough. Let's see houses. What type are they? Residential? Oh, it's a Gigamart. Okay. Oh, there's a police station. Okay, getting to see some of the landmarks. Just saw the pick, nice bulls. Thank you. Uh, a couple of the ones that I did today, I won't have back until next week. Uh, but they're my two best ones I did today. They're probably about two, two and a half times the size of those ones. be proper size bowls. No, I think I saw a two-story house over here from across the fence, yeah. So let's try and secure one of these. to lurk while doing some work. Alright, Kiwi. Good luck with work. Good to see you as always. Uh, did I pick up beta blockers? That was the previous character. Crawler break the window. Skinny leather trousers. Mm, we could throw that in the back of the car, I suppose. Jeez. <laughs> Pretty ominous. <laughs> How's it going, Ben? Long time no see. Howdy, howdy. Let's pr pr 
Tomin is working on these days. Nothing taking a break from from mapping. Just playing. Nothing wrong with that. Go secure one of these homes. We got garages as well. Perfect. So this is Pineville, which is between West Point and Greenport, West Point and Riverside, it's in that first big bend in the river, uh, west of West Point. Yeah, I think that's where it is. This one's barricaded. Very barricaded. Uh, does it also have a bridge crossing the river? I don't know. I'm not sure. The chances of being a crowbar in here. Or a hammer. Where is this on the map? I believe it's uh, that first big bend in the river west of West Point. So in between West Point and Greenport. Bean hammer. Ooh, hand axe. That's right up our alley. Paint torch, dust mask. See a giant bowling ball in my alley? Hopefully. <laughs> oh, don't send a giant bowling ball. I really hope that's how it is. That would be no bueno. Another swing kit. Let's take the thread. Indiana Jones with style wacky zombie traps would be awesome to see in some big buildings. A big boulder.
be pretty cool. An actual furniture piece. Oh, you can rest on it. It's cool. There's Rick's sit and rest. Super handy. Super handy little menu item. Aluminum bat. Jeremy Stevens, welcome on in. How you doing? Welcome to Pineville. It would be great if, uh, when you break your leg if you could actually be used to put a motor on it. <laughs> what could you s salvage a motor from to put on a, a wheelchair that's already in Zomboid? What would work? Oh, there's a hammer. Perfect. Okay. Let's take that. And a saw. A lawnmower, of course. Violin, welcome on in. Good to see you as well. Oops. My bad. Time to raid the survival house. Exactly, Chris. Come on in as well. Good to see you. Let me in. This one had one barricade. In here. Uh, put that down. One at the back. Hey, Rick. What's this? This is Pineville. And this is Liam Greenwood. Oh, look at this. Hallelujah. We're saved. Sneezes. Is that a fire poker or something? This is what I've been waiting for in. Uh, ah! <laughs> this is what I've been waiting for in Ghost Boy 2. It's a fire poker. It's good to see you as well, Rick. How is life going? We have not had any car crashes yet, Rick. We are using the, the concussion mod. It's my first time using the concussion mod since that, that update of yours. Fire poker shudders. Why does that remind me of the thousand years of death? A thousand years of death. I don't know if I'm familiar. Uh, let's fix 
set up. So duct tape. Well, that didn't fix it very much. The new and improved TM, Rick's MLC concussion, the one and only. The one and only. Okay, I'm gonna grab that fire poker. Cause that looks kind of cool. And it goes on the belt. I would have thought it went on the back. Hey, Trigol. Uh, does the equipment HUD remove the clothing from inventory view? It does, yes. It's a nice little... I find it a nice little quality of life mod. Just for that. Okay, so we got some melee weapons. There's a bit of food in here. Not bad. Barbed wire baseball bat. Spiked baseball bat. A fire poker. Yeah, it cleans it up very nice. It's like, it seems like half your inventory in your main inventory just ends up being stuff that you're wearing. Alright, so let's hop out. Where's that knocking on this house? Ooh. Got a nice chunk to it. Oh, a meat tenderizer, that's a weapon. Should go tenderize some zombies. Yes, yeah, easier to find your cigarettes. PZ goals. So far, I like the uh, buildings on this map. M twenty four hundred combination gun. It holds one shotgun shell. Hmm. Higher damage than this. Stuff the scratches in the wall seems specific. So that's from the oh, what's it called? Mm, it's like environment something. Environment overlays, I think. So it adds like scratches and posters and um, like family photos. Just more kind of clutter. A little bit of character to the buildings. Hey, Rancid. Uh, right click the gun. Okay. Where was it in here? Use rifle. Remove upgrade. Search shells, unload. Check it out. Yeah, it's um, it's a nice little mod as well. Can you imagine how much it would hurt to be smacked across the face with a poker so it looked like a bat? <laughs> yeah, that would that would hurt a lot. I'm going to pull the barricades off the door so we can actually get in there easier. This will be our house. 
Hey, that's been 1995. Welcome on in. I love this game. I played on Steam Deck and I have gotten used to the controls. Hell yeah. Who all in chat has played Zomboid on a Steam Deck? Because I know there's a few of you. And if we get some nails, we'll better hit this up. And is there a back door? No, just the front door. Off we go. Especially for a cop with a hook handle. Oh my god. That would cause some damage. That's uh, a handheld console made by Steam, yes, the, the Steam Deck. Where you can access your whole Steam library if they're supported by the Steam Deck. <laughs> Fred, the Steam Deck sounds like a fancy toilet. That'd be the Steam Deck. Hello again, Juan. Hello, hello. Can't justify buying a Steam Deck. I don't even use my Switch in handheld mode. I want to buy a Steam Deck, but I have the same thing where I just I don't know if I would use it in my I like the sound of that. Fire poker. Let's equip this. It's got a satisfying swing and hit. Just the right amount of bass in there. Uh, 500? What do we have? We have a 500 as well. We're just gonna go for a few hours. Sounds good. We will probably be going for a while today. My hands make holding things painful after a while. I've never made... Uh, it's never made for big people with big hands. Or for, for people with big hands. Oh man, my my fingers got... They're so sore today from uh, doing the glazing on the, the clay bowls. Because you have to like... There's like these tong things that you grip the, the bowl with as you're dunking it into the, the glaze. And I'm so scared that I'm going to drop stuff. I'm just like squeezing the tongs far, far more than I probably have to. Yeah, let's drop the stuff off in here. Uh, is this a mod or from the new build? Uh, giggity, giggity, giggity. So this is a mod in Ren, Fred. We got a number of mods. Get sore from all the glazing. <laughs> giggity, giggity. Uh, did you do the mail thing during your pottery lessons and make a phallic object? No, <laughs> no, I didn't. I just made bowls. <laughs> Bruh. Alright, let's put baseball bat. Actually no, that's we're gonna use the baseball bat. Hmm. 
food will be downstairs. Excuse me. Okay. Ow. Oh, actually, we have a bowl, don't we? We can make a fruit salad. Peaches and cherries. A squeeze of lemon. And some sliced apples. Uh, let's see, we'll keep. stuff over here. What do you think, Arcturus? Do you agree? I, I don't know what you mean. I don't understand. Some sort of tomatoes in there. They were fruit, you know. How dare you? How dare you bring up controversial topics in chat? I refuse to believe. Start a war. So, if tomatoes are fruit. It's it's very reasonable to put tomatoes on pizza, right? That's a reasonable thing to do. So, why is it not reasonable to put pineapples on pizza? Is it a consistency thing? Or is it more so the flavor of the pineapple? What makes pineapple the forbidden fruit of pizza? <laughs> well, we're going there. You also find olives and bell peppers on pizza too? Hold on now. Are you telling me olives and bell peppers are fruits? You're tearing my universe apart! What even is a fruit? I think the better question is what even is a vegetable? So apparently all vegetables are fruits. So what's a true vegetable? Carrot? Anything without seeds, right? Carrot, uh, cabbage, lettuce. Is potato a vegetable? Or is that a, uh, that's a, uh, would that be a root vegetable as well, I guess? So, so is a vegetable stuff that grows in the ground, like underground? I don't know, because cabbage grows above ground. What actually constitutes a vegetable? These fruits are seed seeded plants, right? S seeded vegetables? 
<coughs> Ricardo identifies as a plant. <laughs> so you're vegan. Corn is a grain, not a vegetable. I think is is coconut. Coconut's a fruit. Is coconut a fruit? Technically? It isn't coconut a seed of like a coconut tree. It's a seed. So, but it's not a fruit. It's a seed. Okay. <laughs> worms are vegetables taking notes. Yeah, worms are vegetables, small stones. <laughs> Sounds like we're getting awfully close to the uh, what is a witch discussion from Python. She weighs as much as a duck. The ducks float. She's a witch. I kind of want the fire poker to be a two handed weapon, though. be a spear. Have they said if you can throw spears in um, Build 42? Didn't they say there was like changes to spears coming in one of the spears droids? That you saw. I thought they were talking about spears in one of those Thursdays. Maybe not so much throwing them, but they were making changes to them. Or was that just like all the attachments and stuff that you could put on? Spearheads, maybe that was the extent of it. Like the metal ones, right? I mean, don't they grind those bad boys to dust and use them as additives for some food? Uh, rocks? <laughs> Increase your mineral intake? And Monty Python, I've never been able to watch long enough to get the funny parts, to be honest, because it bores the hell out of me. <laughs> That's slow burn Buddhist humor. Alright, uh, let's see. We need to go find like a bar, find some smokes or a gas station or... Do we have a map? Yes, we do. Alright. All right, let's go drive around. Got a couple hours. Oh, let's maybe mark her coast off. Uh, this one, I think. Was oh, that another barricaded house? Hold on. Maybe we'll explore tomorrow. I see a barricade. Uh, I read the ingredients on stuff, and there's always rocks involved. Someone's always throwing some rock powder in there. Alright. It's a goddamn big rock industry. 
meddling in our daily lives. The rock lobbyists. Saul is too dang good. The ultimate in in dusted rock. Nice. Very nice. It wouldn't be a PC stream without censoring it at least once. <laughs> we'll allow it. You should know better than to use such hurtful words, Sage. That's a sensitive generation. rock generation there we go speaking of, of fruits now this is the true test sage if we can add this tomato to our fruit salad then we shall know although this might be full we might need to test with another one it won't let you i've tried therefore tomato is not a fruit the Indie Stone has spoken. Well, if it was a fruit, they'd let you put it in the fruit salad. Oh, but hear me out. You can add strawberries to a regular salad. This is true. Although, I don't think that's that crazy. I, I think uh, people add, like, s strawberries and... Uh, and, and grapes to salads, right? That's that's not too out outlandish. Ooh, garden fork, machete. Nice. Wire baseball bat. Yeah, it's almost broken. Another baseball bat. We need an axe for our axe man. There's a standing rule that you have to drink liquor if you find it on chat integration day. Seems so like, wait a minute. All right, well, only this one time, Sage. It's supposed to be only chat integration days, but. We need to sleep anyways. Alright, let's go. Utterly shit-faced. How many injuries will we get walking home? <laughs> Sprint. <laughs> Grumble far. Yeah, Rick's mod is it, yeah. Apparently I'm a good draw. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's you and chatting me. Oh wait, my hat. 
Wait a minute, I gotta go back for my hat. I love my hat. Don't you worry, this will fix you. <laughs> Ridiculously tired. Is that from the mod as well, or is that vanilla? The uh, the text. These are all from Brick's mod. All right. Sleeping bed quality good, comfort very poor. Pillow nearby no. Oh, I'm passing out. Oh my god, I gotta get naked. Ah, I need to get comfortable. I can't go to sleep in my clothes. Ah, <laughs> passed out. <laughs> well, that was kind of a, a typical drunk pass out. <laughs> Stumbling to get his clothes off, but just passes out on the floor. Been there, done that. Okay. Uh, sleep too panicked. Uh, comfort is now poor. How can I make the comfort better? I'll probably backpack. Sleep comfort tolerable. Jesus. We really have to get completely naked. Did you also vomit the whole way to the bedroom? <laughs> well, let's unequip that. Sleep. Comfort. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Naked survivor waiting to go back to sleep. Too panicked to sleep. Oh, because we're afraid of the dark. God damn it. Where's my, where's my light? <laughs> I need to sleep with the lights on. I'm a scared boy. I wonder if having stuff on our belt affects this as well. Sleep, comfort, okay. Okay, so we need to find a pillow. Can I back, get back to sleep? Alright, hold on. I just want to sleep. There we go. There are literal corpses walking around, and he's still afraid of the dark. <laughs> and he needs to have a comfortable sleep. Oh. Sleep. There we go. Maybe we need a, a nightlight mod. Plug in your little nightlight before you go to bed. Hey Lily, welcome back. I was watching a scary movie and now I can sleep. <laughs> Which movie did you watch? Now the great dressing. Ha! You missed. Ha! Well, I think us being dirty. Probably it impacts our comfort level while sleeping too. Talk to me. Oh, um, it was good. I just didn't like it. Uh, Sunder and I watched that one. That's the one with the the hand, right? The um, the hand that they grab, and they can see uh, see an, an a, a ghost. Catch right. Okay. So we need a pillow. Yes, that one. Uh, I think it was good, but I just can't do scary things. Oi, governor. You bloody missed, you fucking wanker. <laughs> oh, it's back after so long.
not allowed in my house. Yes, okay, cigarettes we need. You forget that you hate this so much? It's a good recording. The community loves it. something else. I guess my sleeves are just rolled up now. Okay, cigarettes and pillows. I think there was a pillow in one of these other houses we searched earlier. So we can always go back to those. What's up here? Motel? Motel. Accent buff. Pizza World. Does that mean there's a Spiffos here too? Oh, not a Spiffos, just a uh, another burger joint. Who is this? Jules Burgers. New chains popping up all the time. Oh, whoops. I was. Doing something else. I don't think we've seen a gas station yet. Or a bar for that matter. Uh, car lot though, that'd be good for getting a replacement. This was the Gigamart, I believe. Could be cigarettes in there. Yes, the police station. Let's go down this way. It's like an uh, Mickey case. This must be stores. Oh, that's a sprinter. That's a congested area. Yeah, a little bit of lag. Pineville's looking really good, yeah. I'm liking it. Lots of details, hey? And a fire station, okay. Oh, uh, we're a... Uh, we're a... Uh, 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 lumberjack. Words. This is this is our heaven. We need an axe. Axe boy. Yeah. Wait, I got pills. I got drugs. Take the drugs. Up an axe. It's like a fire station. Pineville Fire Department. It's got custom signs and stuff too. It's Nicely done building. All right, that's the first aid stuff. <clears throat> Here we go. Carpenter axe. Uh, it's almost busted. There we go. Oh man, that is completely busted. Here we go. Catch the back. Oh, only one axe. 
one good axe. Nope, another one. Camping hatchet. Okay, was well, this one good too? Okay, we'll take that. Is this a belt? That's a back, okay. Alright, we got a few. Uh, what's the weight on the axe? Let's check out. Okay, so... Carpenter's axe, 2.2.66 equipped. So, a, what's that, about a third lighter? This one's 1 1.4, and that's a, that's a belt. So let's put that one here. Yeah, not a wood cutting axe, wait. Alright, this one's gonna drop. Swing speed. Oh, nails, nice. And there's an upstairs here too. Wait, it's usually tied to endurance loss. Yeah. I think we'll be okay with uh I mean it's it's I think we'll be alright. Crowbar. No, we need to have a crowbar. I like my hat. Place cool. I like when um, mappers make their own building, but kind of inspired off of like the vanilla style and layouts of existing buildings. Help makes it uh, feel more cohesive. gathering outside. Did that sound come from pick up the crowbar? Uh, it did, yes. I have um, a mod that adds a bunch of inventory transfer sounds. So it's not just the, uh, the same rummaging sound. Different items will have different types of sounds. Yeah, I think it's a cool mod. Oi, governor. You bloody missed, you fucking wanker. I have such a... a negative inner thought. <laughs> Do that. My survivor is too hard on himself sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Lily is watching closely. Jack shirt there. Where'd you see that? In the lockers. Lumberjack shirt. I think we are we are wearing one as well. So let's maybe just have a big Yeah, let's just have a big collection of lumberjack shirts. Generation! How's it going, man? Uh, 
it seem like the axe would do a lot more damage than it does. If they ever add in, like, dismemberment. So just so good. What is this soup? I gotta take stuff to the car. Would you like Dead Island level of dismembering Zed? Uh, maybe not that crazy. Oi, governor! You bloody missed, you fucking wanker! Damn, I saw that too. It's on top of things. Like, if you were hacking away at a zombie with an axe, or like a machete, and it took like several hits there, you'd think an arm would come off at some point. Imagine opening a fridge up after six months and no power. Oh, so they, yeah, they already have like uh, obviously nausea and queasy. You open up a fridge after six months and just get a, a whiff and your character just goes straight to queasy or, or nauseous. How's Pineville worth adding? So far, yeah, it seems really good. We haven't seen the whole town yet. We're still exploring it. But um, there's a lot of detail. Buildings look good. Environment looks nice. Oh yeah, let's throw some of the stuff in the back. Like how are we not puking constantly? I really like that idea, Brutana. Like they got the corpse sickness, but that's kind of already that aspect's kind of already there. But uh, for the rotting food, I think that would make sense. Don't listen. Oh, the transfer sounds are, they even sounded muffled there. Inside the car. I wonder if that's just the transfer sound for moving stuff onto the seats. Uh, Zika worked in an abattoir for a while. Uh, I could probably handle the blood. The rotting, though, may take some getting used to. An, a, or an abattoir. An abattoir? What's an abattoir? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Cuts up animals? Okay. Alright, well, I think it's time for us to go back to that um, used car dealership. Or try and find something here. We should try a dual sled wheelie character. Did you just break my window, Juan? <laughs> Suddenly a gun run. Someone shot out my tire! Okay. 
Nature will poop into your cells if you don't stop and do your business. I mean, eventually they gotta add uh, bowel movements, right? PZ is praised for its realism. Talking about the mod, yeah. How many of you have used that mod? I have not used that. I wish they're making the loading much better. That's what made me stop playing last time. After going into town, a large population would be so damn laggy. The uh, what, what are the um, the confirmed stats want again? What, what are we looking at? RTX confirmed. 1000 FPS. Ray, ray tracing. <laughs> Full immersion. But yeah, the performance is supposed to be a lot better. Okay, so hopefully one of these. Hey, Kevin. Sorry I'm late. It's 420. My dispensary is insanely busy. It's madness. Well, that's a good. It's a good day to be in the dispensary business. Busy is good. Yes, happy 420 to everyone. RTX on with 1,000 FPS with buildings 420 stories high and 69,000 zombies on screen at all times. Car key on the door. All right. Uh, Thothmark, welcome on in. Thoth says lagging PC is from hard drive speed due to loading saved files from the hard drive. It's real and confirmed. It's got to be a mixture of, of a few different things. Because even on playing off of like a, an MVME M.2, still get uh, a fair amount of lag sometimes. Will it be jiggle physics though? Absolutely. Zomboid booty jiggle physics. tell this car is going to be super safe and we're definitely not going to get any concussions. Oh wait, that's not my car. <laughs> what am I doing here? That's not where I parked my car. that will have 1337 polygons on the respective assets. <laughs> RGB lights and jiggle physics for life. Uh, let's see. They both have 42. Interesting. That's how beat up this car is. Two is all you need. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, we must not get distracted. Cigarettes. We need cigarettes. I need everybody to do their part and visualize cigarettes. So our boy can go get his smoke on. I don't know if we need three shotguns. Assessments of fish on the river, with each fish having individual AI powered by machine learning. Insert other buzzword here on build 42. Damn. This game. Wow. Did you hear that? Hold on. Never mind. I thought I heard like a spring. an orange-haired vegan and blue-haired vegetarian jump off a cliff at the same time. Who wins? Uh, the meat industry? I give up. Society. Is that a bar? Bar and girls. Eddie's bar and grills. <laughs> well, I get it. Bar and girls. Oh, look at those seats. That's cool. That's not a grill. That's not a grill, man. Those ain't seats. Are those for, for pissing on? <laughs> That's for. <laughs> those are for the horses, the, the horse food. There you go, Sage. Happy 420. No cigarettes on the tables. Party bag there, no kidding. Apparently, the apocalypse happened on Sage's birthday. Uh, what melee weapon is that? Just the uh, the vanilla fire axe. Anybody got a smoke? I've never tried mind altering things, drugs besides alcohol. And it's not far from my birthday, to be honest. Ooh. Oh, wait, that's the bottles. Okay. 
When's your birthday, Sage? Jesus Christ. We're inside the walls. The call oh, cigarettes, there we go. The call's coming from inside the house. Oh, kinky. Oh, my. What was Eddie up to? Oh, my. <laughs> Look away, children. <laughs> Over your eyes. <laughs> Hold on. Orgy today. Orgy. <laughs> The orgy today poster and a camcorder. Can we pick up the camcorder? Yes, we can. I don't want the purple light. Oh. I got lots of pool noodles at home. Use it as a weapon. I don't know if you can use it as a weapon. A purple, <laughs> the purple snake. <coughs> Rocks up. I don't know how to do cocaine. It's a waffly sausage. Hold on. Can we take the uh, the chains in here too? Something, oh, come on in. I wasn't prepared for what we found up there. Need the smoke. <laughs> yeah, been a lock lift. Such a good ship. Alright, well, mission accomplished. We got our smokes. Actually, pretty close to our house. Actually, couldn't be closer to our house. that window. Oh, careful. Can't wait for loot boxes and battle royale mode for PC and the paid hero characters with max stats. Made the game a thousand times better. It's the gamer's way.
Let's close these curtains. So Fortnite, basically. Where are we going to put our orgy poster? Up in the bedroom? Corpses up to what should we keep in here? Axes. Take the bats in. Keep one shotgun in here. Uh, let's take this one in and saw it off. And we'll keep that in there. Uh, rifles I don't care about. Which means I don't care about this. So we're going to saw this one off. Uh, we'll take the attachment off. Let's put these weapons in first. Do you have the mod that adds some new death animations for Zeds? I do, yes. Yeah, first time using it today. Some of you may have noticed that they're not all falling uh, in the same way. Treat this one quickly. Okay, let's remove that. Let's 
So if I saw this off again, I can put it on my holster, right? Or on my vest. Let's put on the vest. Cool. Saw it off again. Do it again. <laughs> He's the chicken. No, garbage. Perfect. Just what I need. I recently watched a video where a guy sawed up a 50 cal. Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh. oh, we can still put the shell holder on. Nice. Poking out of the barrel. Yeah, it seems totally safe. Uh, no, we have a closet downstairs, I think. Let's put this stuff down there. the mod that re-added the cake challenge? I haven't yet, no. Uh, it's called Quest Loved One. Is that right? Has anybody else played that one yet? Or the loved one? It was actually a lot less powerful when sawed off because the bullet couldn't gain enough speed. Just looked ridiculous, I bet though, hey? Clean these up. We'll get back out there. I think we're gonna use the shotgun. Someone wake you up from your nap? Yeah. Well, that's just like your opinion, man.
little bit of more so so we don't trip over them inside. Till death to us part by Braven. Doesn't he? Does he have another one night scale? Isn't there one that he did like, the, like the quest, a loved one or something? I thought that was the uh, the Kate one, but I guess that's till death to us part. I swear I saw another one of his. Um, loved one? The loved one. Quest. The loved one. Oh yeah, this was where you find like a locket and you have to track down, I think, something like that. Here, I'll copy it into. This is the one I was thinking of. Yeah, I haven't tried the K one out yet. We should do it someday. Okay, I think that is all the corpses. And we're tired, okay. Shotgun in the morning. Does this go on the backpack? No, we need a bottle slot. Okay. Um, do we have any books we can read? Cooking, metalworking. Let's take the metalworking. First aid. We are barricaded, so we should be safe, but just in case. Just dump these over here for now. <clears throat> Need to get undressed for the night. Kinky. Drawer. Oh yes. We want a good night's sleep. I think we have to take this stuff off too. Dirty boy. Groovy. Comfort okay. Kinda dirty there. Just a little bit. Copper scent. Welcome back. Appreciate the resub with Prime. 13 months. Lucky number 13. How are you doing? Oh yeah. Book is over here. We gotta take our socks off too. <laughs> now we might get a little cold. <laughs> Let's see the feet. There you go. 
Ooh, look at that. One of us, one of us, one of us. Smoke. Are you smoking yet? Oh, I am not smoking yet, but we could definitely use a smoke. Thank you for the reminder. The only feet. All right. Good for the lungs, yes. All right, while he's reading, I'm going to go top up water, go to the bathroom, and I will be right back.
All right. We have not made it very far. Go till midnight. Okay. Time to sleep. Good quality bed. Tolerable comfort. Why is it tolerable now? I'm naked. It's because we're so dirty. Let's try and wash up. <laughs> it's it's because I took off the socks. My feet are too smelly. <laughs> okay, let's wash up. I know he's scared of the dark. <laughs> we need to turn on all lights. One and a half days in, into our adventure through Pineville. Need to find some slippers in a bathroom. Now we need another smoke. Actually wearing that it was okay before what happened there we go a gun belt <laughs> if you just like half a diaper at all it's hilarious Wish I could smoke that fast. <laughs> it just, just dragging it back. It would be distracting as fuck trying to sleep all bloody. Yes, it would be. All crusty. Alright, so I should be able to just grab all this and wear. Oops. Grab and wear. Our crusty, bloody clothing. Uh, we're on front. Okay. Ready to take on the day. <laughs> you just learned on the side. Copper. We found that. In this bar here. We also found a big purple snake up there, but I didn't take that home. That was a bridge too far. Day. Orgy would also be in the Roman style. Okay, eating food, then vomiting it all up, then repeat. <laughs> it's probably the best paleo in the game. <laughs> Laughing zombies with a purple snake. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Uh, there was a pillow in one of these houses. Let's take that. That'll help our our sleep at night. <laughs> Smart zombie. Let's 
sure one of these bedrooms had pillows. Find a sock under the bed, leave it. Investigate no further. Uh, you ever see the movie Snatch? Dude beat that guy to death with uh, the quickness with the black mom, <laughs> but yeah. Maybe we. I thought we saw pillows. Maybe it was on one of the previous ones. Have I played with a smell mod yet, where they where they can smell you, like the the scent of blood one, or is there another one? Yes. Not a whole lot, but... Oh no, there's another one? No, you can smell them. Oh, I've seen that one in the workshop stage. I have not tried that one, though. Where they smell you all the time. I have not tried that one. So like, well, yeah, when you're outside, your radius is kind of larger and then when you're inside, it, it shrinks down. Same with like in a car. Is that right? Uh, foraging one. Okay. Alright, let's go grab some more ammo and then we'll we'll come across a pillow at some point. Actually, the uh, motel nearby would be a good spot for that. Anybody still play Fallout 4 on PC? Never got into Fallout 4. Played it a little bit, but it didn't didn't catch me like Vegas, New Vegas, and uh, Fallout 3 did. I believe that's how it works. Uh, it works with sound actually, but it's called smell because there's not a smell mechanic. Right. Uh, actually, I think I remember someone leaving a comment on Rick's um, concussion mod that they were constantly, people were constantly deaf outside because of that mod. Because of the, um, the impact to hearing. The hearing damage. Oh yes, I was gonna grab more ammo. Two boxes is probably not enough. I think we want at least four. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so up this way would be a highway. You know what? Let's drive. Actually, this might be a gas station. Oh no, those are the restaurants. Um, let's drive up this road a bit. Unless that is the edge of the map. Might be the edge of the map. shall see. Oh, there is a gas station. Okay. See if there's more smokes here. Okay, highway up there. Let's do that. Well, shit. Cigarettes. Cops are here. <laughs> ah, my truck's open. Close it. up here. Trailer park. That was like a double decker trip. Speaking of open doors, there's a mod that has visuals for that too. Uh, there's a, a Night Scale T something on the Discord as well, but an upcoming mod. the shark and shark and kites hunting knives and dehydrated meat stick land okay should we clear that out rancid <laughs> should we go dehydrated meat stick hunting as good of place as any to do a shotgun outing don't see any sprinters Do a barrel roll. Well, we have to. I'm not sure if you were here that one stream. Our, actually, I think it was our last Sonboid stream. Where we were in a um, a modded car <laughs> with like do a barrel roll every time we turned. All right. Drugs. Check. Shotgun. Check. Zombies. Check. Okay. 
blame the car. In that incident, I think it actually was the car. I mean, my driving skills are are something. That car was ridiculous. Oh no, I have no I have a ghost gun. Mr. Bean gun. Alright, we got half a percent sprinters, so let's keep an eye out. Let's not get too complacent. does some van damage. <laughs> oh, shit. Jean Claude Van Damage. Get the Steven Seagal version of the gun. It does nothing unless you put that a cool try. The gun uses the enemy's momentum against them. Zombie death animation mod feels pretty good with the guns. Mazi, welcome on in. Good to see you. Oh yeah, the new camo unlock for the shotgun. Yeah. DLC. <laughs> the apocalypse caused him to mutate and become the world's deadliest mine. La bang. La bang. Safety dance, everybody look at your hands. 
Oh, there we go. There is one. One showed up the party. Alright, Nance Kill, good luck with Cody. See you again. Get your zeros and ones. It's very important when coding. Use the correct number and sequence of zeros and ones. I haven't seen any hunting knives yet. I'm hoping there's some dehydrated meat sticks on these corpses. Make this trip all with the worthwhile. The purple snake would have beat them all down by now. Probably. Probably right. Shells. Should have brought all our shells. We just wait a little bit longer, we can get that nice, nice aim. Didn't do much there. shells.
close. Yes, our, uh, our sawn off, sawn off shotgun has gone invisible now. We're miming them to death. I just assumed it only held three rounds because you almost always reload after three rounds. Trying to be a chronic reloader. Because usually we end up hearing a lot of clicks. Right, that's it. That's all I got. And a lumberjack. Oh yes. Enjoying the axe today. Meat steaks rancid. What a shame. Was there beef jerky in it that I missed? Where was the beef jerky? the flag there we go well what do you think 96 shotgun shells for a beef jerky is that a good trade
<laughs> that zombie reading that poster. Is he just playing dumb? Oh, there we go. Hunting knife. A beef jerky and a hunting knife. I guess we did get the two levels of aiming as well, so. It's all progress. knife let's <laughs> grab watches too the hunt for watches ha you missed I know. Not a very good axe, man, when you miss. A disgrace to the, the lumberjack family name. Ooh, peanut butter. Bread. Look at that, Zika. It's as shocked as I am. Can we put uh, beef jerky in the peanut butter sandwich? Oh. Oh my. I'd be down for a, a peanut butter jerky sandwich. about the fruit jam. I think peanut butter and jerky would go well together though. Spud the rubbish, are you making a new character every time you die then? Uh, generally that's what I do, yeah. Generally it'll be a new character, new world, unless we're doing chat integration then. No circumstances will spawn back into the same world. Welcome on in. this up too. Kevin Cannon super chatted five dollars. Gotta go have fun guys. Kevin, appreciate it buddy. You have a good rest of your day as well. Very much appreciate the, the super chat. This and past super chats, very much appreciate it buddy. Have a good rest of your weekend and uh We'll probably stream again tomorrow if you're interested. Not sure if it's going to be Zomboid or uh, Manor Lord. Or Manor Lords, but. We'll be live again tomorrow. Ooh. What you got in here? 
Nothing. So sad. Let's see what else these trailers have, though. Oh, I put that soup on. Damn it, Tim Burn. No short term memory for this PZ player. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I put it in, but I didn't turn it on. That's even worse short term memory. Should have, oh god. <laughs> it's not me. We should have one empty bowl on us and there's another one in here, so we can make two bowls of soup. How's it going, Nambi? Make two bowls of soup. Nambi smashes his way into the stream. Nambi smash. Okay, the pancake mix was too heavy for the backpack. <laughs> Your time is impeccable, Zika. Impeccable today. Trailer with an alarm. Pretty unrealistic. Yeah, I don't know how common alarms would be in, in trailers. I mean, at least it wasn't a uh, an open shed with an alarm. An open walled shed. I've had that before, yeah. Uh, what are we working on now? Just a general looting run right now? Yeah, so we came out to the uh, this trailer park just up the road from our our current base uh, with four boxes of shells just to work on our aiming skill. So we got level two aiming. Now we're just looting the trailers. Rancid had pointed out that, uh, well, we were looking for somewhere to go shooting, and Rancid pointed out that, you know, we could come here for hunting knives and dehydrated meat sticks. So, we figured a good enough places I need to loot and to, uh, to shoot up. Yeah, I'm doing good, Dombie. Been busy. Yeah, work's keeping me busy. And... Doing uh, pottery courses, pottery classes on the weekends. So we just finished up our second round of uh, an eight-week course. So we've done um, I've done 16 consecutive weeks of pottery classes. So you might say I'm a bit of a potter. I can make a pretty damn nice bowl. Oh, 
I think with more shotgun shells than he came in with, knowing power parts. We actually haven't found any shotgun shells here. There was, well, I shouldn't say that. There was one police officer that had like three shells in his, his uh, shotgun. We found like four hunting knives. We didn't find any dehydrated meat sticks. We found one beef jerky. I put it into a peanut butter sandwich. So, overall, life's pretty good. Oh yeah, foraging, yeah. Shotgun shell chance for sure in trailer parks. We're a little tired. Trunks to open. zombie apocalypse yeah I think we're gonna we're gonna be slowly getting rid of all of our dishware and replacing it with homemade pottery dishes Slender makes a pretty damn good um, mug and I've got the bowls down so we need to work our way up to doing plates neighborhood to take care of tomorrow. Just drop off loot and breathe for the rest of the evening. have one more box back here. And I also missed this corpse in here. Canned food. Oh, wrong one. Should put this in the bed, uh, our bathroom.
Well, it's a combat knife we also got. Okay, so let's continue reading. Got a working book. And we'll get ready for bed. We'll do our wash up as well. Maybe tomorrow we'll go to the uh, motel, get a pillow, and see if we can find some slippers and a bathrobe. Taken off every night. Groovy. Tolerable. Up Linden. Welcome back. Twenty one month resub in a row. How you doing? Appreciate that. Been a while. Oh, was that? Our, is our water out? It is. Nice. Groovy. Appreciate the hydrate, Matthew. Lord. With the resub, 12 months, hitting that 12 months today. Did you just have like your 11 month <laughs> the other day, Lord? Are you speed running through months? <laughs> Appreciate it. It's confirmed Lord is a time traveler. Um... What was I gonna come down and do? I forget now. It's too scary down there in the dark. Comfort tolerable. Is it because we're carrying a bunch of stuff? I'm not sure why it's Oh, I can't even see because it it's in, it's invisible when I place it as well. I'm not sure why we go from okay to tolerable. I'm not sure what's different. Comfort okay. Maybe it has to do with like the amount of weight we're carrying. Yeah, we should probably eat something before we go to bed. Same sandwich. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Didn't even have to pay to see this. Free show. This map missed a big opportunity for the perfect sign at the bar. Look her up front, poker in the rear. Comfort okay, quality good. No pillow. Uh, I saw you got just a bit of panic. Why was that? Oh, our character is nyctophobic. So we are afraid of the dark. Hence why we sleep with the lights on. 
We're also playing with the uh, comfy, comfy sleeping mod, I think it's called. Which is what we were looking at on the bed there. Uh, so it's got a bed quality and your comfort level and whether or not there's a pillow. Which affects how well you sleep. Which is why we got naked. So this is part of our routine. Each night. Shouldn't that be a fear of nicotine? <laughs> Nicotophobe. My G fucking king of the zombies. Master Tater. Welcome on in, appreciate the follow. I kinda like the comfy mod. The routine of getting ready for bed. Let's put the rest of shells in the car. No, like I said, woo, but peed on my rug. Oh, that's where that stain came from. Sure, what's worth worse, he or blood, he stain or blood stain. One of us, one of us, one of us. <laughs> orgy today, orgy. What kind of poster is this? Oh, that's from the. Uh, uh, that's from Eddie's bar. The camcorder was from there as well. There's also a purple snake up there, but I wasn't brave enough to take that home. Followers, you're now one of us. He wants the purple wobbly sausage. And I'll stick with my beef jerky. Across the street? Yes. Hey, it's our extraction hunter car. Oh, Jesus. Forgot a uh, mini bag. Oh my, uh, my fanny pack. That's right. I did forget that. My cigarettes. Uh, is that the more zombie death mod? Yeah, the more zombie death animations. Yeah. Sleep easy tonight. So, hello nearby. Yes, that's very cool. Bed quality good with pillow. Very cool. 
That was that bug stuck on the stairs. Yeah, it looked like he was stuck on the uh, the banister here, like the pillar. Major Mildew, welcome on in. Come on, where are you? Which door are you at? It's gotta be in this bathroom. The knocking stopped. I think we found the ghost of Major Mildew. You're free now, Major. Pretty excited for Kingdom uh, Come Deliverance 2. I watched the trailer uh, the other day. I couldn't make it through the first one. I got frustrated at the start of the game. I felt like I was playing for, I played for a good three or four hours, but I felt like I only actually played for an hour and the rest of the time I was just watching a movie. I wasn't, pre I wasn't prepared for it. I didn't expect it to be so story driven. Trailer looked pretty cool. Oh, look at that door busted down. The new, uh, new tile. Oh, this wall is busted down. Very cool. Ooh, look at that. Nightstick and a spiked baseball bat hanging out. Biting baton, baton moulage. This was a survivor base, hey? map like the details holy towels Batman <laughs> must get drier still too wet Don't forget to bring a towel. Uh, we are in excessive sweaters. Maybe we should take one of these towels. Hello there. The universe is calling to us. Hey, Swartress. The Swartress Fortress. How's it going, man? Doing well. Enjoying our exploration of Pineville. Oh, slippers or no flip flops? That's right, we're looking for slippers or and or a bathrobe here too. That one's the other thing. Um we can't I think with the towels we can make a bathrobe. Tailoring two, three bath towels. 
thread and needle. I wonder if she's got recipe for slippers. Tailoring one, okay. Magazine. Recipe for the soul? Interesting. Bathrobe made of a patchwork of bath towels? Yeah. It would work. So what's new in the world of Swartress? Let's grab some extra bath towels. If we find that tailoring book, we can... I got the auto-sewing mod, so... We can um, work our way through first couple levels. Okay, that should be plenty. I don't know if we're going to find a bathroom. Not so much playing some of our games and uh, a lot of hell divers too. Very good. I'm playing a fair bit of. The Dangerous and uh, Manor Lords recently. You were here for the last stream that we were talking about. The last PZ stream that we were talking about. Uh, the Dangerous, right? Well, I see a hot dog. I see pizza. see pancakes oh my god stale hot dog stale pizza is that a waffle we're gonna be very sad but these I saw the announcement yesterday but haven't managed to take a look at your stream uh, Manor Lords has been fun we have an army of archers wreaking havoc right now Lady Casca I see you welcome on in Welcome back. Which well. There's bathrooms. Alright. So now I kind of want to find a bookstore so we can get that tailoring book or a school. Have we seen a school? Now I really need to find a tailoring book. That'll be... Come back. How are you doing? Hello there. I don't think we saw a school. I don't remember seeing a bookstore, but there was that street that had some stores. I think it was back this way. Uh, any update of your series on YouTube, by the way? Uh, I'm about a third of the way through editing the fourth episode. I haven't done any editing, though, in the last uh, week or so. I'm slowly working my way back up. I was saying earlier that I powered through the first three episodes. Um, I was pretty much editing like all day after work until I went to sleep to get those first three done, like one a week. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just a lot of editing, so as much as I would like to do one a week for the style of that series, 
Um, it's probably... I'm probably gonna slow down so I don't burn myself out. Ouch. So soon we'll have the fourth episode. Uh, these were all apartments. That's right. Is it, um... I'm averaging about... It works out to about an hour of editing for every minute of the episode. So with the episodes being around 25 minutes, it's about, about a solid 24, 25 hours of editing time. My hope is though, as I go further into the series, that's I'm going to become more efficient with my editing. And it won't take as long for each episode. Not seen any bookstores or schools. Although this looks like a schoolyard. some stores up there too but let's check out the school damn no shit yeah it's it's taking me a while to to do the edits but it's it's a fun process it just takes a, a long time and certain sections are a lot of uh, rewatching the same four second sequence seven, eight, nine, ten times in a row to try and get... I'm trying to, like, time everything to, like, the, like the music tracks that I'm adding in. Sometimes it's hard to get the, uh... what I'm seeing in my head to actually show up on the screen. Survivor House back uh, by where you first saw the school fencing. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Katie Sparrow School. I don't think we brought the crowbar, did we? I think I left that on the table. Is this in here? Okay, so we want the library. Uh, medical. What's this? It looks like a library. Okay, tailoring one. Electrical one we want as well. Tailoring three. Be mechanics one as well. Tailoring one. Carpentry one we need two. Carpentry, uh, driving intermediate. Yeah, book jackpot. Advanced driving. Mechanics. Another tailoring. Uh, 
Uh, we're currently reading the metalworking. Expert driving. I got foraging beginners. Yeah, most of the beginner books now. Need driving though. Driving and carpentry. Carpentry. Driving here. Okay, let's take one of those. Where is beginners though? Maybe a uh, intermediate carpentry too. Searching for a needle in a big world. Need. Driving beginners, okay. Uh, let's go. We'll go hit up that house that Rancid saw. stuff before it goes bad. Uh, we have syrup at home. Can we put syrup on the waffles? I hope so. my fanny pack that I left at home. Including my nicotine. Look at this uh, lawn back here. It's got the lawnmower pattern. That's cool. There's a zombie on your lawn. You know you're getting older when <laughs> when you appreciate a, a good lawn. Okay. Barricaded home. We should be right over here somewhere. There we go. A little itty bitty one. Zombie animations are death animations are pretty smooth, huh? play Build 42 soon together because I'm losing motivation on playing this game after 1500 hours. Okay, so once 42 drops, I know like last time we were talking about restarting the community server, and that's still something I want to do, uh, but it's, when Build 42 drops, eventually, we definitely need to uh, get a server going. Or at least a, a server wipe if we already have a server going at that time.
We're gonna need farmers and ranchers and hunters. And basement explorers. And pottery makers and all sorts of occupations in our community. Blacksmiths. With mods or no mods vanilla? Oh, it'll be no mods, just vanilla. For the first go around, probably for the first couple go arounds. I think there's gonna be enough content there to keep people occupied. Uh, I've been, uh, Carbo says he's been so busy playing other games. I haven't played any PC since the community back in December. Do you remember what the last one was? Was it on the community server or was it one of the um, the community integration, the multiplayer chat integration days? I still look back fondly on our um, couple sessions with the uh, what were those mods called? The, the night uh, all those random zombies, like the exploding ones and. That was insane. I remember a <laughs> zombie diving over a fence or something and dropping onto this fortress and then exploding. <laughs> it's complete mayhem. I think it was a multiplayer integration day. Yeah. It was so much fun. What's that mod called? Yeah, I feel good. <laughs> Eight bottles of bleach. All right, this is the um, the custom car repair shop that was mentioned in the description as well. Let's check this out. What was that mod with like the exploding zeds and the fire zeds and the skeletons and? Oh, and then there was. Uh, the Leaper Zeds um, was Contax mod, right? <laughs> oh, those were the days. Oh, CDDA zombies. I think that was it, yeah. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> Be funny. This much darkness, he gets scared. Or maybe that was just the panic from the zombie. What a nightmare to be on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. yeah, all the crazy screams. <laughs> so much fun. We have a good group of people to play ridiculous zomboid in. Or with. Oh, that's a nice uh, um, modification to that tile. The missing locker door. Something different. cigarettes I need this journal which journal is that this 
it a container? It is. Some cool tiles on this one. I'm not sure if it's pulling from another tile pack or if it's specific to this man. Later. Five. Oh, what's this? A sweet shop? Oh, is this the town center? No. I think it mentioned something about the town center on the description, too. Workshop doesn't list any dependencies on tile packs. Yeah, it's all just uh, custom for the map. That's pretty cool. Very cool man. The safety kilns by the uh, chewed up pavement. Alright, let's drop this stuff off and then I think we hit up the police station. Oh wait, barricaded. Hold on. All bits are for sale. boxes uh, when build 42 you're gonna drop I'm gonna do three playthroughs at the same time one with exploration of the new map by living uh, in a car and a campfire outside of town other one the wilderness and one with the last of a settings with many years later that's gonna be fun that sounds great so is the um, Procedural wilderness? Is that supposed to be in 42 when it first comes out? Or was that something we're gonna continue to work on later on in 42? And beyond. In 42, like, like when it, uh, I don't know, started 42? That'd be very cool too. Explore the wilds. Okay, so there's a restaurant here too. Magically unbarricade the inside of this window. Magic. They're illusions, Michael. Makeshift saw is the dream. The dream. Alright, we're good. It's only gonna be one way in, one way out. Roofing axe. Sure. Another machete. Sledgehammer. Oh, yes.
Hmm, alcohol wipes. We found the kids. The goody kids. Rando Lucini, welcome on in. Watching from Melbourne. Enjoying the stream. Welcome on in. Another Australian viewer. Who else do we have uh, in the stream today from around the world? Type out your your countries. Yeah, Australia. I know we got Americans. Colombia. Canada. Brazil. The true one with an S, not a Z. Make me hungry being in the kitchen. It's like I'm going <laughs> for a snack. Alright, we'll stay alive until you get back from your snack. Promise. Alright, can't do it. Back, Nance Kill. Back from the zeros and ones. The land of zeros and ones. Can be as exciting. Never mind. I didn't think it'd be as good, but it's it's very good. Yeah, let's grab those. Uh, forty-five auto. Ooh, seven six two. More nine mil. And the 1050, let's take that. M14 magazine, Tech 9. Very nice. Uh, quick poll when you have a snag, uh, do you have it vertical or diagonal? Have a, a snag? I'm gonna play bat hatchet. Let's just focus on the axes now. Now that we're finding a few of them. Very good. Alright, now we go. You fool! Oh, there's an upstairs. Where are the stairs? <laughs> we gotta go back. <laughs> back door. Right there. Is beeping, beeping. Much more can I fit in there? I'm about that much more. Okay, uh, I got the crowbar now. Yes, I'll close it so I don't forget again.
We almost missed out on all the loot upstairs. Appreciate the hydrate. Thousand percent miss what you said about that Peterbilt skin. Um, what did I say about the Peterbilt skin? I don't remember. You probably, I guess you didn't miss anything important. I don't, I don't recall. Oh my god. Holy moly. Uh, this one's even better. Holy moly. Uh, let's see. 308. No, 38 special. Yeah. 9 mil. Shotgun. Uh, CZ75. Let's take those. I don't think there's a CZ in here, though. No. And my pistol, though. Very nice. Switch bases, make this a new base since it's already outfitted. We, you know, we could. We definitely could. What do you guys think? We'll have to do a couple trips. Another fanny pack. Norskadian, do I remember you? I do. I feel like it's been a very long time though since we've been here. The Mini 14 is uh, so good from BFE. Hmm. Okay. Mini 14, my beloved. Okay. Mini 14 magazine. Uh, two times scope, leather sling. I guess we could just take that for repairs. I'm a double barrel shotgun. Uh, condition is junk then. Okay, did I check this one? No, I don't think I did, right? Dog food, dog food. Carpenter axe. Another fireplace poker. Oh, we could two-hand the fireplace pokers. Oh my god, foul magazines. M16 magazine. Okay. Very nice. I think I'm still going to take the the home. I think we're just going to take this stuff back with us. So I don't need all this stuff. I just want what I want. I take nearly everything. Yeah, good thing he said upstairs. Okay. Stupid 
search needle, search needle folder. Yeah, we can mark on the map for later use. That's right. Oh, that's cool too. Let's mark this. Definitely more stuff we can come back for here. Oh, so heavy. Let's go back. Hit the mother load here. No kidding. It was okay downstairs, and then we got upstairs. Like, Jesus, it's a lot of stuff. Hindville's been pretty uh, generous with their barricaded buildings. <laughs> what about the upstairs? Upstairs, there's more. What is that? That's a movie theater. Look like at movie theater. I'll have to check that out. Well, that's a pawn shop. Oh, and there's a bookstore. Well, we already hit up the uh, school library. It's gotta be a pawn shop. Yeah, we need to check out this tomorrow. And I wanna check out that. All right, where am I going? Oh, and there's a water barrel there. So much stuff to explore. Oh my God, what is this? <laughs> Might be a post office. It's a military vehicle on <laughs> top of a car. Hardware, no a construction site. Okay, we need to check out this block. This has got some good stuff. That looks like an interesting building. Oh my god. Let's see another bar. So many things to do. That block for sure, and then there's the brick wall and the police station. I get lost. Uh, damn, you're still. What happened to that burned out all those cars? God damn. Yeah, something went down. So a couple of nice little parks. We hit up the fire hall already. Let's make that one off. Oh, I did miss the, the zoom for the rickroll. <gasps> this is what happens when you don't stream regularly anymore. Raymond, you fool! <laughs> If someone wants to do it again, we'll do a, a redemption. Oh boy. Too much stuff here. Just throw it on the ground. I got zombies coming. Good. Did I turn this off? Yes. 
Yeah, I gotta sleep soon. It's almost time to get naked and get into bed. <laughs> the naked hour approaches. That was a good loot day. I need some secondary bags. Transfer loot inside. You can imagine our survivor <laughs> just cupping his arms in front of him, carrying all this stuff. Serious question time. How many bits would it take for you to do an entire stream in the TikTok influencer review voice? Oh, like that, uh, like that AI voice? The Valley Girl voice? much yeah it's fake as can be oh my god and then i was playing a zomboid and you wouldn't believe what happened next a zombie almost bit me so i took my axe and i hit him on the head Must be a name for that voice. <laughs> there is a zombie under my bed. Rock Ridge, Rock Ridge, splendid. Close. Uh, <laughs> Five more bits. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Appreciate the cheer. I appreciate the cheer. Oh my god. Pillow. Hold on, that's not the way you place a pillow. Sleep like a psycho. How do you rotate? There you go. There you go. Or a normal per normal person. Okay, so banner books we keep on the table. The rest go away. That's our homework assignment right there. Read all those books. But wait, there's more. Okay, we'll keep these in here. Move those down. I got all of this stuff in my bag. That is full. Uh, let's start putting ammo in this police bag up here. Let's 
let's empty these ones out. Need to start making some crates. Was a huge haul. Look at my back. Oh yes, I want to see if I can put syrup on these. I can. That's how I put syrup on my pancakes. Finely chopped. Oh, and he put it back in his bag. <laughs> it's all sticky. I prefer your pocket pancakes. Covered in lint and crushed up cigarettes. All right, it's double barrel. I'm gonna saw this one off. I think we'll swap that out for this one. True, pizza pockets are a thing. Oh, I think we're onto something here, Copper said. A, a pocket waffle, where it's a, it's like a pizza pocket, but the inside's just syrup, and it's made out of a waffle. It may just be the next million dollar idea. I would definitely eat that. Mm, you know what? Let's put this on the table. A patent pending idea. Yeah, this thing's invisible. Um, okay, well, and... Now it's not invisible. It is when I try and place it. Scope, scope, scope. Okay, put this back on the sun off. Yeah. So tired. Gonna go play something with the boys. Have a good night and stream, everyone. Have a good night. Good luck, man. Great to see you again. Good chatting. Thanks for guiding us to the uh, the mother load.
Okay, everything dropped off that we're good. Good with. East. So I still got weapons down here to move somewhere. Uh, last we spoke, I was at 200 subs. Now I'm at 497, working my way up to that Nomus collab. Hell yeah, congrats, man. You are... Let's... Can we get North Skadian to 500 subs? What kind of content are you, are you uh, publishing right now, North Skadian? You're so close to 500. Rimworld mostly but some Zomboid. Well, if you wanna, if you wanna put your uh, your channel in the chat, feel free. Let's see if we've got uh, three people out there that want to sub, get you to five hundred. Oh uh, yes, we need two. Okay, so if we're fully dressed, very poor comfort. Yes. Okay, so let's undress. Since we're wearing the gun on our vest, we probably don't even need the gun belt. And this. Yeah, just put on the ground. Comfort bad. A little nearby, no. Must be relative to where our character is. Yes, tolerable. Yeah, maybe washing doesn't affect it too much. Uh, 7 p.m. Can we squeeze in some reason? Tailoring, then we can work our way towards making that bathrobe. Those slippers. Oh, shit, I pass out. Oh, no, no, sleep. Sleep. Our first night we got plastered and passed out beside our bed before we could actually climb in. So with RimWorld, are you playing with the new DLC right now, Norris? Very tough DLC to learn, but very interesting. From the, uh, I've only seen the trailer. But it looked very interesting in the trailer. Corton Medical Services, providing your prescription medication since 1970s. Got a headache? We provide. Feeling a little blue? We provide. Corton Medical, where we provide for you. Indeed, all praise Corton. I'm doing my part. Attached a backpack. <laughs> That's terrific. That's terrific. I'm doing my part too. Lol. <laughs> terrific. Okay, so 
police station I'm doing right my there. Part too. I'm doing my part. I think that was a police station. I'm doing this my one? part. Maybe it was this one. Where should we go first? Should we hit up this street that had the uh, pawn shop? And the other interesting looking stores? Or should we hit up the police station? It actually might be this one. What do you guys think? And it looks like we still have an area, probably at least this much down here to explore. And I think further east there's some farmland too. That's part of the map. Maybe some warehouses up there. Maybe a chunk down here. Wakey, wakey. get longer every time. Well, you know, Bezos isn't going to get to Mars without our support. We all got to pitch in. Alright. Since this is closest, we'll go here first. And there are... A few nice police vehicles here. No one's play first YouTuber on Mars. We'll find out. Wonder how long it takes a radio signal to get from Mars to Earth. Who knows, maybe I'm already creating content on Mars. I just won't see it until uh, a couple weeks. Search the duffel for ammo. Uh, Kentucky State Police Badge. Or dead duffel. Nada. But we do need more bags, so let's take it. Uh, the new Zomboid series will be continuing, Generation, yes. It will be continuing. Just taking me uh, a little longer to get back into editing. of the way through editing this fourth episode so I think um, I've done a few I wanted to get back into doing some streaming this past week so I think next week I'll try and set aside at least a few days to power through some editing and get the next one up <laughs> had intended on getting back into editing this past week, but then I ended up getting that um, pre-release uh, Steam code for Manor Lords, which I wasn't expecting. I was like, oh man, I've been waiting for this game to come out for a couple years. It's hard to 
pass up the opportunity to dive into it. They're gonna come out in batch. Uh, they'll still just be coming out one at a time, Ricardo. I was saying earlier, it's it's very uh, intensive on the editing time for each episode. Like the first three episodes averaged about an hour's worth of editing for every minute of video time. And those first three weeks, I I pretty much just worked, came home, edited all evening, all night, slept, got up, worked, came home, edited. So it was a, it's a bit intensive. And uh, to be honest, I can only do that so long being in a uh, in a relationship you know what I'm saying I can only sit in front of the uh, the computer for so long and slender and arc here I'd love to do their own thing before it starts to become an issue As always, it's a balancing act with uh, content creation and life. But yeah, it will be back because I am very much enjoying the um, the theme of the series as well as the editing. I've been very happy with the uh, final product of those three those first three episodes. I guess this is it. All right. Shall we? Oh, I can't pry these ones. Yes, just building suspense. Get them begging for more. That's right. I really like these uh, custom crates. Are very cool. Okay, another jackpot. Let's do a once over and then we'll uh, pick and choose on our little shopping spree here. Let's see if there's anything out of the ordinary. It'd be awesome if we could find an 8K. Ooh, MP5. Smoke. Are you smoking yet? Rifle silencer. Uh, I am not smoking yet, but we will be shortly. What loot rarity do you play with? Uh, so our loot rarity is, um, I mean, historically I've always done like, I've tried to do like the lowest loot rarity settings, but as of late, I haven't been as stingy. So I think we've probably got ammo set to like rare. I'd say probably probably half of the categories are on was it insanely rare? We got a few on extremely rare, and I think ammo is on just rare. Appreciate the hydrate, Norse. Mostly just because I'm not playing as much Zomboid right now. My play sessions are rather spaced out. When I'm grinding, like every day, you know, 
It's alright being on insanely rare. When you're only playing every once a week or once every couple weeks. It's kind of nice not to have to go through the grind. Alright, so I'll just be ammo. Okay, well there's the MP5. That was cool. Oh, a sp there we go. Can't complain about a spaz. Take that. Pistol silencer, nice. So we got another rifle silencer. Been playing on the insane rarity on everything lately and still have so much stuff. I know, like, once you, once you start surviving for a little bit of time on insanely rare, you're still gonna end up with a lot of stuff. It just takes you a little longer. Okay. Well, let's drop these guns off and then we'll come back and grab the ammo. Smoking around guns and live ammo stands safe. Oh, we're a trained professional. Don't worry, I'm a lumberjack. Uh, North's gotta head out. I'd like to say literally everything I know about Zomboidus from your videos. Keep up the great work. Well, keep up keep up the great work on your channel as well, and here's to another few hundred subs. You'll be out a thousand before you know it. It's good seeing you again. We should be using our loot bags. I have bags now, yeah, I forgot. Totally forgot. Oh, and I need some water, yes. I'm a little thirsty. The spaz looks so damn cool. If I had to fight God, I want a spaz 12. Is one of your favorite weapons in Battlefield 3. I think we're going to save it until our aiming is a little bit higher, but we'll use our sawn off double barrel in the meantime. Sling improved iron sights laser. That'll be fun. That will be a fun one. Is there a back door? No. It's a secure facility. Especially with slug rounds on a 4x scope. It's almost OP because for some reason slugs were affected by bullet drop. Uh, so you could snipe across the map with it. That's insane. <laughs> totally not broken. Okay, so I need water. I see water. Also see handcuffs. I mean, we've got the video camera in the bedroom. We might as well have some handcuffs too. Six rounds. I 
They should allow bags to be thrown out of windows. Do a, a payday loot run. <laughs> Raffidav just needs some mannequins to finish it off. All right. Not sure if Arcturus agrees. It's okay, buddy. I know. People keep waking you up when you're trying to nap. Dog leash. Kinky. Another pistol silencer to do that. Okay, I think that's good for now. Always come back. What gun mod are we using? Vanilla Firearms Expansion. VFE, yep. Do you use any car mods? Got any suggestions? Uh, just filibuster rhymes, used cars. Yeah, that's the only one I use. I stayed away from gun mods for a long time. You guys turned me on to VFE. in the seats. Did I not do that? Uh, Spaz 12 in VFE, and there's that one yet? It is indeed. And one in the guns only run. That was fun. Also got me killed too though, so. I'm sorry, Ricardo. I'm sorry. <laughs> there we go. Bus rounds and, and STFR, yes, for the, for the skins. That'll buff out. Don't worry. I know you guys were worried, but that'll buff out. Tis but a scratch. But a scratch. Right. Ooh, maggots. Wonderful. Your go to is a sawed off double barrel. That's what we just uh, swapped out to as well. Man, we're tired again. Holy moly. Time for a nap. Damn it. 
full, 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 full. Oh, we'll just have a little rat's nest of ammo back here. And keep the shotgun shells in the car. As soon as I start dumping stuff on the gram, people in the world just start screaming bloody murder. It's not that bad. Where there was that creepy laugh, I remember. Oh, the um, try Joker. Joker or Joker laugh? Can't remember exactly what it is. This stream is making me want to get on Zomboy, but I gotta be up early. I know if I can, I'll be playing late. What, what do you have on the uh, the docket for tomorrow, Generation? You working tomorrow? Your jujitsu, okay. Right on, no, you shouldn't miss that. How long have you been taking that now? I do remember you talking about that before. I just feel like those are big handcuffs. Poor comfort, man. I just wanted to have a quick nap. Is good enough for a nap. I'm very tired now. One thirty. Uh, let's go to like five thirty. It's been three years now. I was off for eight months from July until the start of this one. Recovery time? It's a lot of clothes to put on. on and 
and let's go a blasting. Eat both these soups. Oh, and fanny pack. Let's not forget. And I shouldn't be running with the shotgun. Here. That's a bad idea. That's going to end poorly. Had an infection I was dealing with and tried... Uh, tried out trucking, uh, which kept me off the mats, but trucking didn't work out, so... Uh, and I'm cured now, so I'm back on the mats. How was the trucking experience, though, while it lasted? Let's do it on the edge of this neighborhood. Hopefully that'll mean we don't have to worry about the deads for a while. Work-life balance wasn't what I was hoping for, looking for. Maybe I'll go back to it eventually, but not for now. Money was good, but decided it wasn't worth it. Work-life balance is important. I get that. Definitely get that. are carrying a fairly heavy load, but maybe I'll be all right. That is loud. beta blockers. I want to go back to the school to the uh, nurse's office see if there's any in there. I haven't seen them. Oh, there is the hospital. I haven't seen any medic clinics though. The hospital is nearby though. Actually not a lot of Zeds here. Maybe we'll go elsewhere. Um, 
my trunk. This is the hospital. Okay. Let's do this area. So we'll want to get in here regardless anyway. Sprinters. was a survivor backpack for a second. I've only got ha um, uh, half a percent sprinters. So just enough to uh, catch us out when we're not paying attention. Accelerating ones, so the longer they chase us, the faster they get. Yeah, take care of them quick. I uh, cooked up another spoiler for you when you have time, of course. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I'm on two hour days, yeah. Once we're done this ward, right scale. We end up going home to sleep before the end of the day though. Looks like Slender might be off work too, so probably have a break shortly. So I can hop on a call with her. I wish there was an hour and a half day. A nice middle ground. Alright, we're gonna go till... Top of the hour, 8, 8 p.m. We're going to take a break. A break midway through the horde. I used to always just stick to one hour days generation, but... 
going to two hour days I find does feel a lot better. Closer to three. Yeah, I feel like you can get more stuff done in one day. The two hour days. You're not constantly eating. off into the field we're gonna take a break guys be back in about a half hour or so so hang tight if you're able to if not it's good hanging out with you today appreciate all your support but we shall be back to continue on at the very least we'll make it through this horde uh today and do maybe uh, a little bit more looting but uh, yeah we will be back about a half hour
having the last couple bites of food here just saw the uh post in the discord night scale looks really cool very very cool thank you good to be back it's time to watch my fried rice Dark tourist innocently begs. All right, buddy. I'll clean that one up. All right, so was it 8 p.m.? Getting dark. We got a horde. Four days gone. A 
bag full of shells. Another bag of shells. And we're almost at level 3, right? Or did we get level 3? We're almost at level 3. Tall fence back here. On the south side trap us. Pills. Look for some improvement now. to go until like 10 p.m. We haven't cleared them by then. like you pissed off some zombie friends again. I just wanted to show them my new gun. They got a little rowdy. They're always making friends in Kentucky. How are you doing, Lou? of the pills. Yeah. Maybe I'll slog to get the little four.
or hand axe. The lumberjack senses tingling. There's an axe nearby. Feel the difference between level two and level three. But a lot more deadly. Are we getting near the end? Getting there. Lou's doing great. I've been having some fun rewatching your Blackwood series. Ah, good times. Oh, good times indeed. Speaking of Blackwood, head on over to the uh, the Discord main chat spoilers channel. Nightscale has posted something that may be related to Blackwood. I, I remember the, uh, it was within the first few episodes of that series, we had a, a lot of very close calls. I specifically remember somehow making it down the stairs of that apartment we were living in, tripping through the hordes of zombies. Finish that cigarette. You're still anxious. Oh my god, I thought we were getting near the end. Oh, new batch is coming. On 10 o'clock, we should think about heading back. Yeah, I thought we had almost cleared him out, but a new wave has emerged. It's our heart pounds in our ears. The uh, back of the truck. Hanging over the edge there, blocking us. Now, Blackwood series, I think, was the last time I also used the um, Brita's gun mod.
Bird of the way. All four. Is this building? Where am I? <laughs> where have I gone? This is where all those zombies came from. I wandered into an apartment building. That's where we went wrong. Alright, let's start making our way back to the car. Where's the hospital? Am I going up too far south here? Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god, we could have shot ourselves so easily there. My god. My hat! Somehow we are unscathed. <laughs> oh. Alright, I'll sacrifice our our cowboy hat for our life. Whew. Definitely gonna have to change my underpants when I get home. <laughs> the great Houdini. Holy moly. I am lost. Where where are we? Is that the hospital? That's the hospital. Where's our car? Down there, okay. Reacquired. Did I trip on a corpse there? Or did I trip from Bumping into his head? It all happened so fast. I can't believe we didn't shoot ourselves. Shot, we gotta go. Let's go. Holy cow. Uh, let's put that gun away. I'm worried if I crash, I am going to shoot myself. a few. <laughs> Poor guy's panicking. It's the dark, I think. One more. Inside. 
How many shells we got left? 35. Wow, we almost went through eight boxes. Crazy. Don't worry, we got 21 left. Okay. Uh, food. Just have the chips. Undress for the evening. Ready for bed? And we still got some time for reading. Let's go back to tailoring. We had that nap, so we're not crazy tired right now. Let's go to one. Tolerable comfort. Still tolerable. Yeah, I'm still not sure about the, uh, how that works. Some, oh, because we have the fanny pack on still? Sometimes it's okay, sometimes it's not. There we go. Fanny pack. So equipped items. still super high I think I'm gonna take more of the shells so we did go through quite a few there down as well. Just keep them in the trunk. got eaten alive last night. Just got torn down. So I need to get into that hospital to check for beta blockers. So we're going to head back there. Oh, another 
northern block south, I think, or was it just right up here? Must have been right up here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Go shoot my car. Breaking glass. Three foggy days in a row. More sprinters today. seen two up at this point right now there's just three Approaching level four now. There's gotta be more. Let's find the rest of them. Seemed like there were a lot more last night. Unless they all wandered away. Oh, this is still the hospital on this side. Okay. Pretty sure that was the same building, same facade I saw last night when I thought I was lost. Maybe there aren't that many more lefts. Maybe we're okay to go inside. Bill Tuesday with the raid. Welcome on in, raiders. How was your stream, Bill? Welcome on in. We're off exploring a new map mod, Pineville. Out to uh, head into the hospital. Let's get a quick shout out for Bill. How are things on your side? There we go. I got no ear protectors. Be prepared to go deaf. It's probably all rotten. What's that? Candy? Denim strips. Ramen. 
That's not what we've come here for. Come for the drugs. Ooh, canteen. Oh, the backpack too. Oh, for the crowbar though. Uh, we'll take it. I think I'd rather keep the crowbar on there though. Favorite sound effect in Zomboid. Eating a banana. or just general store possibly lots of vitamins of snacks and there's our first de dehydrated meat stick trailer park didn't have it the hospital does oh beta blockers old bottle too lucky the whole jar of mayo not not this time Looking for better and bigger things. Oh wait, bandage. It was very fresh. Super duper fresh. In fact. Can you imagine eating a whole bottle of mayonnaise? God damn. I think we'll find more bitter blockers here. Somewhere in here we'll find more. Throw stuff in the car and then we'll continue grabbing more. Check the upper floors. Pull the car up a bit closer. Let me take a look at one of those ambulances. <laughs> Um, see any?
the upstairs. Very cool hospital. Looks great. Alright, where are the stairs? By the way. Yeah, I saw stairs before. Where were they? Back on the side? Back in here, was it? Maybe we won't find more medicine up here if there's no more medicine cabinets. It's VHS though. Dead wrong. These containers? Take a look at our map. It should give us an idea of where we're placed. Oh, this is actually a different spot than where I thought it was. I thought this map was over here. So we're on the far west end of town of the uh, the map. Okay. I so was looking at another map that's sitting in the bend in the river. Ways away from ATM. It says VHS. Thompson's. Bottle of beta blockers so far. Here we go. Like that little breaching, breaching clear. The uh, advanced trajectory mod for the uh, the guns. I 
Don't, well, it ain't bad, I guess. That's just all files. <clears throat> Excuse me. So many suture needles, though. Ah, uh, two more. Okay. Are good to go. It's a big hospital. Saxophone. So much clutter. The item stories mod adds so much, uh, so much character to the rooms. It makes it feel a lot more abandoned. Not quite as sterile and empty as vanilla. Doctor's a fan of Jurassic Park. Okay. Any more offices. Top floor, let's check this wing. And I think we're good. This wing was under construction, I guess. work. I would definitely come back to Pineville. I am enjoying our time over here. That's right, it did say in the uh, description of the, the mod home screen that uh, this world wasn't quite finished yet.
smokes. Too late jump scare. I already got him. Hey, Frouche. Welcome back. How's it going? Uh, no treasure maps on this run. Welcome back, though, Rick. How's your day gone? Uh, was that vanilla shooting through the doors? That is from the uh, Advanced Trajectory Overhaul mod for guns. Yeah, I like the. Oh, and there's a uh, access to the roof here. I like this ho hospital. All good, chilling, Proosh? Excellent. Yeah, lots of cool details in this hospital. I like it. Have that? Didn't know it was a thing. Yeah, we discovered it um, by accident in uh, one of our guns only runs. Comes in handy. I'm taking full advantage of your sit and rest mod, Rick. The chef's kiss. Love it. Sit and rest. Don't waste your life with extra clicks. Just sit and rest. How's the map so far? Standalone? So it is part of the um, the greater map. It's a very... I like the map. It's very nice. I haven't seen it all yet. I thought it was over here, in the bend in the river, but it's actually on the far west side of the map. I had it confused with another map I was looking at today. What that other map was, I don't know. I can't recall. Yeah, yeah, this one is very nice. There's some custom tiles, uh, lots of really cool details. Until a lot of work went into it. And we can appreciate a map that's had a lot of work put into it, that's for sure. Uh, did you get the pay-in pump on this time? It is on this time. Yes, actually we have not picked up any credit cards. Oh, there's that axe. We should be looking for credit cards and or cash. Because we do actually know where a gas station is. Someone doesn't have a credit card. Oh, there's beta blockers out here the whole time. <laughs> well, damn. Yeah, that's, I, I'm eager to try out the pay and pump, so I'm glad you reminded me, Rick. I just need the money. Oh, and I almost died last night, Rick. We were shooting zombies behind the uh, hospital. And I think I tripped and fell over a corpse in the dark. Into the oncoming horde with the sawn-off shotgun out. Luckily, the shotgun did not discharge. <laughs> it was very scary, though. I thought we were done. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. A big pew. Hmm. I think someone would have a credit card on them. You can use cash though as well, right? Or is it just credit cards, Rick? So I think the gas station had some cash in the register. Oh, check the glove compartments. Okay. I take cash but not change. Okay, let's check the glove boxes. That's a new symbol. Last time I played. If you interrupt filling, it will round up your charge. So that's how fossil oil got to be the mega corporation it is. died last night. I almost died right now. Let's count the credit cards. Where's all the cash at, Archie? Who's got the cash? On a goose chase for cash. I just need like one credit card. <laughs> Don't you know, get it rich. Quick schemes never work. Oh, the map says it has secrets. Anything yet? Oh, uh, I think we found one earlier, chat. A key on the door. I don't think that was a secret. We did find one in a bar. That might be the only one we found so far, though. It was called... The bar was... Uh, what was the guy? What was the name? Was it Ernie? No. It was someone's bar and girls. There were a lot of strippers inside. And upstairs, there was a room with uh, chains, shackles and chains on the wall. And in the other room, there was uh, a VHS camcorder, a poster that we took home that says, uh, Orgy today, Orgy. And then a large purple snake on the ground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I left the purple snake. So I'm I'm assuming that's probably one of the uh the secrets on the map. It seemed a bit out of the ordinary. I got my scythe for cutting grass. As any good survivor would. OK. 
Okay, so... No cash yet. Ah, uh, it was Eddie's Quicks. Well, come on in, man. Or, well, I guess you've been here for a while. Good to see you, though. Always when you go trying to find something, you can't find it. Credit cards are the type of thing you often see. Just smash the window, the owner is probably lying in the car park now. Unnecessary violence. Vehicular violence. What if it was your car, Rick? Even after death, would you want someone just willy-nilly smashing your windows? I have the technology of the pry bar. I would rise up again. Oh, a wallet! We're getting closer. Check that one. I think we just go to the gas station and go to the till. Can't believe we haven't found anything. So hard to pass it. And a pocket carrot. Ooh. Wouldn't that be an embarrassing way to die? <laughs> Getting paled by a carrot through the back of your mouth. Oh, is there a credit card in there? Oh, oh. <laughs> Shit. No! <laughs> My leg. <laughs> I literally tripped over it. I got all excited by the carrot. There we go, credit card. Oh, there's no... Oh, I have to put it in my inventory, right? Then I get the money. $82. Alright, we're rich. Let's go. Poor leather pants. And we're tired again. And my trunk is open again. So gas station was that one, right? Good God, Zika. <laughs> guys. Got a man, look at his map in peace. Scary map. Can I go this way? Not 
really. There's probably a credit card in each one of those glove boxes up there. I should have credit cards in the mailboxes. Credit card companies are always mailing it. Credit cards for you to use. not have my vitamin holic mod. Fistful of vitamins. <laughs> Scarf down a whole bottle. Delivering kidneys won't mind. Be too busy being alone. Did just pick up a whole bunch of bail lockers. Panic is a thing of the past. So make sure they're not all going to follow us. Fuel from gas pump. So we have eighty-two dollars, and I think it's twenty-six cents a liter. And we're at eh, we got about almost three-quarter tank. Oh, it's on the back. Oh, nice. You can watch it go to. Ah, super cool, Rick. 
Wow, twelve dollars to fill up. Eleven eleven seventy nine for a quarter tank. That's so cool. Uh, have I seen the Alpha Camp clips? I saw a few. It's hard to watch. Alpha Camp? I don't think so. Oh, last time we were here, the alarm went off. What are the Alpha Camp clips? Oh, we we're meant to go to camp to be alpha males. Actually, I've seen a few of those pop up in um, some podcasts. People do like a brief chat about them. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty weird. You know what? Actually, we have gas in the back. Let's use more of our money and actually let's grab that money. Let's see how much gas we can get for one dollar. Make sure it uses the uh will you use a cash first or will you use a credit card first i dropped the credit card so it'll be forced to use the cash oh you can put in your backpack or fanny pack to not use it the man has thought of everything They will use credit card before money if they're both in the main inventory. All right, one dollar. One dollar. <laughs> cool. Like a third of a gas can. Or, yeah, about a third. I love it. Very cool. No refunds. <laughs> I seem to uh, recall there are no refunds on the vending machine either. I'm sensing a pattern here. Appreciate the hydrate, Zika. Drink that fuel to hydrate. Uh, glug, glug, glug. That's kind of backpack. What the? Did I do that? I didn't mean to. I didn't know you could do that. I did not mean to do that. Ariana, how's it going? Good morning. Finally caught you streaming. I've missed a lot of your content since you scaled down. Well, it's good to see you today. Oh, drinking the gas makes you go faster? Mmm. I mean, the logic checks out. Thanks, Zika. Zika could tell that Nightfall was coming and our characters are afraid of the dark, so... Turn up the lights. That's a little too bright. Zombie Apocalypse has made everyone tight with the monetary policy. I guess they're not printing any more money, so. Yeah, I love that. That mod rig. Pump. Pete. 
pay and pump, is it? Is it pay and pump or pump and pay? Chat should definitely go check it out if you haven't yet. I don't know Rick's latest giggity, creations. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Pay and pump. Not like that, see good. Go check out Rick's fine array. Rick's survival mods emporium. I think we're going to wrap up here, guys. Let's say I do like another hour and a half. Sunder and I are going to hang out. Do a video call, watch some, some Netflix or something. Work, work. Uh, is this the latest PZ version with basements and all the new content? Not yet. No, 42 hasn't come out yet. Still no confirmed DTA. My original thought was uh, it was going to be spring of this year. I'm running out of spring. We'll see. Still on 41, but using a number of mods to help keep things fresh. We were just doing, um, uh, using one of Rick's latest mods, Pay and Pump, where we used our credit card to go buy gas from the gas station. Cost us about twelve dollars to fill up from three quarter tank to full. All right, I'll take this and we'll leave the shotgun shells in there. How has life been on your side, Orion? Cipher, welcome on in. I found that if you go into debug tools, you can see some of the voiced emotes. Ooh. Some of the voiced emotes. Very cool. Have you um, been delving around in debug cipher? Keep that hatch in there. Pain pump changed things for the late stage gameplay. Suddenly, you don't have infinite gas, and you have to worry about finding money in leaky gas tanks. Yeah, it's true. What's the um what's the maximum amount that can be on a credit card? I think that was part of the sandbox option, right? I think I saw that in the sandbox setup. Is it like two hundred? Is a sandbox option. So yeah, you could Make for insanely rare money. Insanely low credit card balances. 
just found it accidentally while playing around with some mod testing. It's pretty cool. I'll have to check that out. It's early morning here in Sweden. Cold as an ice hopper shop. The car refuses to go outside for more than 10 minutes. Goodness. That sounds pretty cold. Max is 120, min is 369. For price per liter, I think it's 26 cents right now is the base. Or the, uh, sorry, the default. But you can change it. Random credit card balances. Oh, the cat I meant. I see. It's like if your car... <laughs> if your car is dying after 10 minutes in the cold, that's pretty damn cold. It's day after tomorrow cold. You could play PZ in VR, would you? I'd try it. I'm not sure how it would feel. <laughs> Speaking of VR, though, uh, Slender and I did a VR session uh, with my dad when he was down visiting us uh, a few weeks ago. That was fun. It was his first time playing VR. People requested other mod compatibilities, so it works with Treads Fuel types and a credit card mod that has different credit colored credit cards. I got the inventory mod, like that one. Uh, this one, the equipment one. That's that's very cool, Rick. Working on cross compatibility. Yeah, this one's super nice. We were talking about it earlier. How it like cleans up all the uh, or hides all the worn inventory, cleans up your your clutter. Need to get it onto my VR games again. My bird is just too attached and always flies to me. Watch it last time we played Skyrim while fighting. Quickly took off the headset check on him. Oh god. <laughs> no. It does do that, yeah, Zika. Uh, what's the mod called? Equipment UI, I think. I think it's equipment UI. Alright guys. Uh we're gonna end this one for the day. It was great hanging out with everyone chatting had some fun had some close calls uh i'll be streaming again tomorrow i th think sounds like Sunder's gonna have the day off tomorrow so i'll probably try and um hang out with her online as well as uh, she's out of town for the next week and a half or so still on her work training so we're um um it's like back when we first uh, started going out when we were long distance. So it's interesting. It's been, uh, Slender and I have been together now. I think this May it'll be eight years. Crazy. Eight years for Slender and I. And then this November will be 10 years for the channel. How long have we been streaming for? Four years? Or I guess three years. 
Rancid just hit his 36 month yesterday. Lots of milestones. But yeah, uh, great hanging out. I uh, hope everyone has a good rest of their weekend. Uh, or for those on the opposite side of the world, a uh, good start to their week uh, coming up here. A uh, big thank you today to Kevin on the YouTube side for the $5 super chat. Appreciate you. Uh, also, Zika with the uh, 500 bit cheer. Appreciate you, man. Uh, this has been Pineville. And if we do come back streaming tomorrow, we will, I think, continue with this run. And then Monday, I'll probably return to Manor Lords. Um, I want to get through Manor Lords, um, conquer the map. That's my goal. And speaking of Manor Lords, for those who uh, have been enjoying that content, April 26th is when that comes out on Early Access in Steam. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Uh, so it's a boys' night in. You need to get the poker part, party parts in your in your base. Oh yes. Uh, absence makes the heart grow fonder, or something like that. Something, something. Uh, congrats, Thunder! As always, comes uh, through as very nice girlfriend. I think. Thanks for the stream. Absolutely. Yeah, we all love Thunder. Hope she's doing well, being away from home for so long. I think she's missing Arcturus, and Arcturus is definitely missing her. He's been a bit of a stressed out boy this last few days. Night scale. Uh, good luck with the rest of your modding. Thanks for sharing some of your, your sneak peeks today. And yes, I will try and do some more editing on the PZ series so we can get episode four out soon. The series is not abandoned. It shall return. We shall continue the treasure hunt. It's onward to Greenport. Oh, and last but not least, I should say, I should give, we should give a shout out to the map maker here. Uh, let me get the name. And I'll drop the, the link to the workshop page if you guys want to check this out too. All right, there's the, uh, the workshop link. Uh, created by Constantine Smoke. Ananas. Smoking yet? Well, very well done. Very well done on this map. Very, very cool map. Still more to explore tomorrow. Uh, I'm just looking for a stream for us to raid on Twitch. And it looks like Milk Toast is on. And some PZ Hoss is on. Uh, Unleashed is playing some The Isle. Is that a dinosaur game? Let's check that one out. Let's go oh, say hi. To oh, that looks like it might be dinosaurs. Okay, let's go check out Unleashed. It's been a while since we've said hello to. There we go. All right, guys. Have a good night, morning, afternoon, evening, until... Uh, Next time, take care of yourselves and have a good one. See ya.